in this video we're going to focus on how we can use unique characters in here as you can see here the superscript number three we have here a delta and we have here phi symbol so we're going to use these unique symbols and put them in chart.js so let's start us for how to use special characters in chart.js so the first thing what we need is to go to chart.js3.com getting started to get the default code so make sure you go to this link and if you uh, you can also find a link in the description box scroll down and then copy this entire chunk of code to get our default code here so once we copy this and if you want to understand what this code does make sure you watch this video here which explains it all i'm going to just paste all this code in there the title here will be replacing it with that save and refresh there we are so now we have this and what i want to do now is i want to add up here a title so let's put, create a title in here and all we need to go over here is in javascript and then here specifically in the options we're going to say your plugins and then we're going to say here title and by default the title is disabled so we say display it's set on false so we're going to set this now on true once we did that we can say now here a text and this text can be anything we want which is a string so I'll put a comma here so we have that as well and then here we're going to say uh, this is char of and then whatever we will have here so we're going to select one now so there you are we have now our title this is our character and now what I want to do here for example in this case there was a special request was this superscript number three so how we use this superscript so superscript is basically the number three with some space below here so basically this unicode we're going to use and the unicode is always the u and then basically this you can ignore eventually what we're going to use because we only use the four hexadecimals this is essential for us to use so if you scroll down here you have some of these options and i would say try to test different options which one works what i do notice is usually depending on the site you have to just check what's this usually this code here will be the exact correct one although sometimes i have a different one uh, but in this case they are all exactly same because you can see here b3 this is b3 as well all right so let's copy one of them they're all basically same. you can see it is also b3 this is b3 and this as well same and what i'm going to do is let's grab this one for now and then what i want to say here i'm going to use here backslash very important backslash is not a slash so you can see the difference so this is a backslash and then what i want to do is i want to paste in here the unicode however we're not done here i want to put in the u then we and we're going to put a zero here and we're going to replace the x here basically with a zero and we can use a small character b number three if i save this now then refresh you can see here this works and we have now the super script of three super script of three so if we save that there we are you can see here beautiful all right so now we have one part so let's do one more here here below maybe you want to do as well in here so let's grab another character and I always recommend you to test them. You can see here, this is one of these codes here. However, I noticed that when I tested this, this doesn't always work. What did work well is eventually this one specifically here, based on this specific number. So why this is, well, I can't say. I guess decomposition, maybe it depends on the character, some are too unique that doesn't recognize. So I'm going to copy this. What I'm going to do here now is just remove all of that. We're going to have here a backslash paste that in there we're going to make a small capital a small u replace that one we remove the plus and now we have here the four hexadecimals if i save this we should get here now a nice triangle or another word delta so the next one let's do another one finally which is also quite nice is the phi character here or the phi the, the greek symbol phi so here same story in this case we have this one and they are very close to each other but i notice that this uppercase tend to work very well so i'm going to grab this one here or specifically the u plus zero three a six and let's replace this one here finally with that remove this so we're going to do here a backspace we're going to say your small letter u the plus can be removed let me say zero three a six all right so let's check save that refresh and now we have delta phi all right so now basically with this all you have to do is to figure out the unicode and you have to test them i'm going to recommend you to test them because sometimes they don't work as expected so make sure you test them always with a backslash a search for one or try one and 
sometimes you see like this if this will indicate it especially if the character is too unique sometimes it will not work so the best is to find one the the more default characters so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to learn even more different things for example you want to add up here the skill titles i have here another video on how to add skill titles in charges shows you how to play around with the skills.